Hello, everybody. My name is Charlie. I am the Guiding Ohio Online Learning Coach at Madison Public Library, and welcome to Bite Size Tech. Today on Bite Size Tech, we're going to look at Freegal, a free music download app that we have here at the library. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead, open up any web browser that you may have, and we're going to go ahead and go to the Madison Public Library's website. Public Library, Ohio, and we're going to click on the first link at the top. It should be Madison Public Library, Lake County, Ohio. Now, when we come in here, there's two ways you can get to Freegal from our website. So if we go under eServices, you can go ahead and click on Freegal, or if you scroll to the bottom of our page, you can click on the um, Freegal image here at the bottom. I'm going to do the image at the bottom. So I'm going to click there. So now it's going to bring you to the uh, Freegal main page. So this is now where we're going to go ahead and sign in. So if we go and find the login button in the top uh, right hand of the screen, you'll go ahead and click on that. And then you'll enter in your library card number. So once you log in, you'll be just redirected back to the main Freegal page. So on the main Freegal page, it's just going to show you the featured songs, featured albums, music videos, audiobooks, and artists that are, you know, featured at the moment. So, you know, it may not, the, your screen may not look the exact, the exact same as I have here, but um, the best part here is that instead of looking at featured, we're going to go ahead into browse. So when we go into browse, the first menu that's going to show up is, you know, top songs, top albums, music videos, audiobooks, etc. So this is going to be what people are currently downloading at the moment. So, you know, all this stuff here, you know, you're I don't I don't know what you'll be looking for, but I don't know if this will be the stuff that you are mainly going to be looking for. So, what we're going to do, we're going to kind of go through each tab at the top and we're going to kind of, I'm going to kind of explain, you know, what, what each of them are. So, you know, go ahead to new arrivals, pretty self-explanatory. So anything new that, you know, has come into the Freegal app recently um, will be here. Uh, then you can go to the genres page. So this is where you can go ahead and actually click on uh, a genre. So let's go ahead and do... Uh, you know, let's do let's do some classic rock. So if you open up classic rock, it's going to bring up uh, the category or genre of classic rock. So I'm going to click genre again. Now the really cool thing about the genre tab is that if you click sort by, you can do it from A to Z, Z to A, or uh, how popular it is. So like clearly, if I if I do if I do it by rank, pop is going to be top. Um. And then if you go to additional, so this is going to be a little bit more detailed kind of uh, sections. And again, it's going to be the same sort by in rank and all that kind of stuff. Now, if we go on artists, it's going to be, um, you know, view all featured artists, new artists, stuff like that. Um, kind of a little, uh, not, not as very, not as broad as, you know, new arrivals or genres, but we'll get to that. We'll get, we'll get to how to search the whole thing later. Next is going to be music video, so it's going to be the feature, top, new stuff, all that will be here. And then audiobooks is all going to be right here. All right, now we're going to go into searching for uh, some artist, album, uh, uh, what, whatever. Uh, we're going to go up to the search bar in the top right corner. Go ahead, let's search Frank Sinatra. Because... I would think he's a pretty good one to look up and see if he has anything. Well, here we go, right at the top. So when you go ahead and click on Frank Sinatra, it brings up uh, artists. So basically, it's going to be artists including himself. Uh, and then if he's done anything like collabs with anybody, like we see like Doris Day, Frank Sinatra, uh, Bing Crosby, all that kind of stuff will be up at the top. Uh, next will just be individual songs that you can uh, download and all that kind of stuff. Uh, relating to name, uh, there may be some different artists along the lines in the song, so it may not be all songs by Frank Sinatra. 
it may be ones about Sinatra, all that kind of stuff will be up here. And then albums that he may be associated with. Uh, so that's going to be like his greatest hit stuff, essentials, all that kind of stuff will be here. Then music videos and then audiobooks at the very bottom. All right. So now we're going to get a little bit deeper into how to search on Freegal. So if we go on to advanced search, we have, um, you know, select type. So that's going to be, you know, what you, what you're looking for specifically. So if it's an artist, a song, album, any music videos, audiobooks, uh, that's all going to be here. Uh, you can search by artist name. Uh, you can search by song title. So if you know the song title, but you don't know who it's by, that will be there. Uh, album book title, kind of the similar to song title. If you know the album, but you don't know who it's really by, uh, that's going to go there. And same with book title for audiobooks. Uh, then composer, it's going to be, I would consider that probably the artist for the most part, uh, kind of similar. Uh, and then we're going to go to the label. So the really cool thing about label is that if you go ahead and search for a label, so example would be, let's do Atlantic Records. And I go ahead. I don't know if I spelled that right. I did not spell that right. Let me fix that. And let me click search. So if you search for Atlantic Records, it will bring up anything that um, is on Freegal from Atlantic Records. So now if I go back, so we come back here to the advanced search tab. We're going to go under genre. If you start typing in a genre, so let's do rock. Let's see if anything comes up. Oh, yeah. There's, hold on, the list didn't pop up for very long. Yeah, so like then there's the different genres that associate with what you typed in. So rock, alternative, hard, punk rock, classic rock, all that stuff will be there. Uh, and then you can choose uh, how many of the fields above that you want it to match with. So there's uh, match with all, match with at least one, so that if something's not matching up right, you can change it up and get into where you need to. Now, I'm going to go into the search tips because here's some there's some really cool stuff underneath search tips. So if we click on search tips, it's basically like a little explanation of what you can do to make your search a little bit better so if you can if you if i'm going to read off a little bit of the tips to you um so the search box at the top of the page has much of the same functionality as the advanced search with the above search you can use multiple keywords to narrow your search results as an example this would be a search for michael jackson thriller and or uh, use and, or or and these words may be helpful uh, to find specific artists, albums, or songs. Uh, Umptown Funk and Mark uh, Ronson. Uh, use quotations if you like to search for an exact phrase. And uh, use minus to exclude a term from a search. For example, a search for Elvis minus Presley will re return results for Elvis that do not contain the word Presley. So basically, it's a little bit more it's like kind of like advanced search light i would call it so it's like a not a super advanced search function but it's something that can make it to uh make it to a certain extent uh a little bit better for you to um search for things all right so now from advanced search we're going to go to the final thing in this video today and it's going to be called my music so if you click on the my music tab it will bring you to what uh, songs you have downloaded or um, maybe have gotten in the past. So it's gonna be it's gonna be under lists of like songs if you've gotten out music videos before, uh, any audiobooks, and if you wish list anything. So if we say let's go back to the main page here. So like let's do uh, let's do. Let's go back to the Frank Sinatra example. So if we go to Frank Sinatra and we say we go under the essential Frank Sinatra. If you see, if you go under here and you look at the song here, if you click add to wish list, and it says at the bottom, successfully added to wish list, 
we go back under to My Music. We go under Wishlist. We see that any songs that we have starred will be under the Wishlist. And it's the same with videos and audiobooks. They'll all be under Wishlist. Now I'm going to go back under My Music. So, you know, it even says here, your downloaded songs will appear here. So if you've gotten any songs within, I think it was like from this week or last week. Yeah. So it's basically a history of what you've had before is mainly all the My Music is going to be. So if you've downloaded anything within the last few few weeks, uh, days, you should be able to find it here. This project was made possible in part by the Institute of Museum and Library Services and the State Library of Ohio. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. This has been Charlie. If you'd like to schedule a learning coach, please call the Madison Public Library at 440-428-2189. Thanks and have a great day. Thank you.